Hey, what's up? All right. Well, if you have a family member file for you on that, on that parent's side, and the sister petition to you, is that um, where is that person ready to adjust also? With the and if you file the brother or sister petition before uh, April 30th, 2001, you are eligible to adjust as of August 1st in, in next Monday. Okay, so anyone who filed anyone who filed a brother or sister before April 30th, 2001 should be coming into my office. The other group of people, by the way, who should be coming into my office, if you were filed as the unmarried um, as the unmarried child over the age of 21 of a permanent resident before April 30th, 2001. In other words, your parent was a permanent resident, they filed for you, you're now over 21, you're unmarried, you should be coming in to see me as well because those people are also eligible to adjust. And what about uh, um, the, the child who is married and the parent is a citizen and filed for that child and oh. then died? And then the, the sister take up the case. Yeah, we can. We you can you can you can adjust if it was prior to April thirtieth, two thousand one. You can do that adjustment too, I believe. Uh, I just want okay. to double. I'm going to double check the priority date right now. For uh, unmarried children of U.S. citizens, you are eligible to adjust your status now, because those priority dates are up to January first, oh two. So if you had a uh, priority date prior to the April 30th, 2001, you're eligible to adjust. The Basically, if you, in any family preference category, other than, let's see, other than uh, if you're from Mexico or the Philippines, but in, if, in any family preference category, if you were filed for prior to that April 30th, 2001 priority date, unless you're from Mexico and the Philippines, a separate waiting list for you. But in any other family-based category, whether you were sponsored by your parent, you were sponsored by your brother or sister, you were sponsored uh, by a spouse, a permanent resident spouse, um, you are eligible to adjust if you have that priority date, if you had that application filed prior to that April 30th, 2001 priority date. So uh, basically anyone who had an application filed during that uh, period of time of 245I right before President Clinton uh, left office or right when Bush came into office and got that application filed by a family member before April 30th, 2001, as of August yes. 1st, as of August 1st, yes. basically anyone can adjust their status now, pay the penalty fee. Yes. So yes, yeah, right. so they should. So you should be. So all of those people should be coming in, even if the family member died and the sister's taking up the case. You are eligible to adjust now, assuming that the sister has been already approved to take over the case. If not, then we need to get the sister approved and then file the adjustment. So how would I know if the sister approved? Well, if you have a lawyer taking on your case, the lawyer should know. If not, mm -hmm. uh, you come in to see me, and we'll check it for you. Well, that is it now, Brad. You are my lawyer, and I'm supposed to come in tonight for some of my so that's the reason why I want to know if I have to come in and then waste my time all the way from Long Island to come in. That's why I really called to find out, because I'm supposed to be there tonight. Okay, so I'm your lawyer. So, I want so and you want to know if you, okay, so if you haven't heard from me yet, that means your sister has not been approved into uh, substitute in yet. But what you can do is, when we get off the radio, call my office up, Ask to speak to David Dirks. He will take your telephone number and name, and somebody from my office will call you back and save you the trip in from Long Island, okay? Okay, sir.